Hi and welcome to PhD How to Walk. I would like to take this opportunity to say thank you to everybody that has participated, shared their knowledge on PhD How to Walk. I have learned so much from everybody's research and the wise words that they have shared. To everybody that has subscribed, I'd like to say thank you. And I am so excited for 2022 to learn more and share more. To say thank you, <laughs> there is a little video with everybody's faces on it. It's just to say thank you. 2022, more videos to come and thank you again. Welcome to PhD Hard Talk. Today we're here to find out about your research. I'm going to start by using loads of technical terms and then I'm going to explain them. Brilliant. <laughs> My uh, PhD looked at electron backscatter diffraction. So it's not like a linear. We're looking at the circular. You get that? Yeah, the circle of life. Lion King. Yeah, if you say that, you can say that. I'm now thinking to myself, that's not really micromanagement because I need to see what you're doing. No, I get that. And it's the dynamics in the nature of the kind of work. There's a lot of cultures, religion, etc. I'm already like, wow. So where are you focusing? The plan is to look at Kashmir. Having a high biodiversity, being assigned a stable environment, indicates to us that there might be some resilience to overcome climate change effects. Brilliant. So you are giving back in terms of the community in that way. So it's not only about being pragmatic, it's also about just follow whatever brings you joy, even though you don't know where it's going to take you. That is brilliant. So think outside the box. People who know of her, there is a lot of scholarly talk. A lot of people use the term like she was like, quote, obsessed with Gandhi or in love with Gandhi. How do you ensure that you're not persecuted verbally in a negative light for using rats? I just would like people to know that rats, or at least animals in research, are treated incredibly well. And this topic uh, actually appeared only at the end of 20th century. So it's less than uh, 30 years old. Oh, wow. So Not only can it be used in math or in finance, you can also use it in sociology. Basically, you want to ensure that your research is used and it's not just locked up in a library. Okay, yes. That's why you're on PhD Hard Talk. I love you already. <laughs> it's very much important to empower each other and help each other where we are struggling. Excellent.